Hello! I hope you're having an amazing day. I did some movement and some mobility with another group this morning, so I thought I would just hop on here and quickly go through six movement exercises for your lower body. Um, you can do these as your workout. We're going to do six exercises. We're going to do six reps of each and you can repeat it as many times as you like, but it, these exercises are great for getting mobility, especially in your hips. Okay. So we're going to come down onto the floor and we're going to start with one of my favorites. I've done this before, so it may be familiar. We're going to do some clams. Okay. So knees are at 90. My, my legs are stacked. My feet are in line with my glutes, okay? And you're just gonna open up. The thing to remember is I don't want you to roll back. Um, you're gonna stay on that hip and you're gonna squeeze your glutes when you get to the top, okay? So this is a fantastic exercise. Ideally, you should be able to open your hip a lot more than mine. Mine are tight today, so this is a fantastic thing to practice, okay? There's six. So it's it's not something, you know, when you do mobility work, it doesn't have to be super hard. It doesn't have to be, you know, something that makes you sweat. Or, you know, when you're doing a workout, mobility work and movement are things I think that people forget about a lot. And, you know, I know mobility work is not flashy or sexy or, um, amazing to look at whatever words you want to give it but it's necessary work and we need to do it okay so this will give you something really quick that you can do i can't <laughs> it's monday i can't i don't know if i did six it might have been six it could have been seven okay so now i'm going to get you to come up on your elbows okay and thanks for hopping on we're going to do a leg press so what you're going to do is on my elbows I'm going to flex my foot and I'm going to push through my heel, okay? And what I want you to do is add resistance. So imagine that someone is trying to keep your foot, your leg from straightening, okay? So you're adding your own resistance, okay? Now, the closer your leg is to the ground, the harder it is. So if you want, you can push your leg up. That's fine. Good. And we've got one more. Good. Hello. Thank you for jumping on. Come on down to the floor and join me. Let's do some mobility work. There's lots going on. Hips are going to get nice and warm. Muscles are going to get activated. This is a really quick um, six exercise workout that you can do first thing in the morning. You can do it at the end of your day. Okay. And it gets everything moving, blood flowing. Okay. It's fantastic. And it's short and easy and quick. Okay. Next one. Everything else we're doing, we're going to be lying on our back. So I'm going to put my hands under my low back, okay? Legs are up in the air. If you need to for these exercises, you can have your knees bent, okay? If you can have them straight, that's fine as well. So what we're going to do, flex our feet. We're going to open into a V. And again, same as the previous exercise, I want you to imagine that someone is trying to keep your legs open and you want to close them and close when you want to open them. Okay, so you're adding resistance. And I also want you to think about your toes are pointing to the wall behind you. Do not let your legs turn open. So I'm going to show you that. You don't want that to happen, right? So my toes are pointing towards the ground, the sides. Uh, -uh. I want them pointing towards the back wall. Okay, I've got two more of these. My abdominals are contracted. I'm pushing my low back into the ground. There we go. Okay, we got double leg drop. So legs are together. You're going to drop down as low as you can and then bring them back up. If you need to bend your knees, that's fine. This is an option. Another option is you're bringing your feet down and you're alternating, okay, with bent knees. Heels are touching the ground. So you decide which version you want to do. And the lower you go to the ground, the harder it is and you don't want your shoulders involved. So you want to make sure low back is pushing into the ground. Whew, I'm working. My hips are getting some work. It's over my abdominals. There we go. Good. Okay. Legs up in the air. So now we're going to drop out to the side, just one side at a time. So again, toes are pointing to the back. Abdominals 
You need to really engage because I don't want you to roll your hip. So depending on your range of motion, you might only get to a certain uh, openness width and that's okay. Whew. Whew. I can feel it. Good, go to the other side. Feet are flexed, they're working. So same thing, imagine someone's trying to keep your leg closed and someone's trying to keep it open. So you're adding your own resistance, all right? We got three left here. One, two, good. Last one, fantastic. Okay, last exercise. I'm gonna put my hands under my low back again. You are going to flex your feet and you're gonna hold your legs in the air for six seconds. And you're going to breathe, press your low back into the ground. There you go. When you get up off the floor, roll yourself over to your side and gently sit up because you've been doing some work down there. So we want to slowly bring the blood flow back to the rest of the body as we lift our head above our hearts. So there you go. There's six quick exercises that you can do. Lots of mobility, lots of core work going on. Uh, I recommend, you know, if you want, do it more than once. So just repeat that. So I would say six exercises, six rounds, six uh, reps each, do six rounds. So I would repeat that five more times. And then you have an amazing workout that you can do really quickly, probably take you, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, and then you've got some mobility work in for your day. I hope that helped. Please feel free to share, tag a friend who will enjoy this. Uh, I have a YouTube channel, Fran Garten, so you can just find me there. And there's lots of other videos about, there's workouts, there's mobility stuff, there's stress resilience and management, and um, there's, there's tons of things that you can find there. So head on over there, give me a subscribe, give me a like here, follow me on Instagram. I'm all over the place. And if you're not busy on Wednesday nights, as always, I will be doing a free 30 minute workout at 7 p.m. Wednesday nights on this Facebook page and on Instagram, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time for 30 minutes. And tomorrow night, I will be at Corfidence on Instagram and we will be doing some foam rolling together live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you'd like to do some foam rolling, grab your roller and jump on to Corfidence's page and you can join me. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Have an amazing day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.